Hey friends, um, this is Dee from H&D Abroad and I wanted to share um, the first aid kit, the travel first aid kit I put together. Um, first of all, I have to say this is not a sponsored video. Um, also, I am not a doctor. Uh, so the things that, like I said, the things that I'm sharing are part of just my personal daily regimen. Let's get right into it. Um, so we, this is our first uh, real long-term travel. So this is, uh, we are traveling about 15 hours uh, away um, by plane. So yeah, like I don't wanna be sick. <laughs> so one of the things that we are still doing that a lot of people may, um, may not be considering is we are still wearing N95 masks on the plane um, and we are still wearing surgical masks when we are in close proximity to people and that was you know that's something we had to to navigate because it can be uncomfortable to have a mask on but it brought me peace of mind because i was all about um, not being sick not having to miss uh days of our two plus week trip because I wasn't feeling well. So I was willing, we were willing to make the sacrifice. Um, so let's just start down this list. So uh, what are the things that I would need? So allergy medicine. So I took a few um, of my, uh, my uh, allergy tablets. Um, I put them into a smaller labeled container, like a snack bag that I labeled um, what was in it and how many. The uh, next item, some Tylenol. I'm just gonna say it. I brought some Tylenol and I brought some ibuprofen, um, you know, because one is a fever reducer um, and uh, the other is a pain reliever. So I needed to have both and I have used them on this trip. Um, so yeah, I just, um, I know that sitting for long periods of time, it can activate some of those, um, those nerves that really make me feel uncomfortable. I am doing stretching on these flights, but like, I don't want to um, be uncomfortable having to sit for a long, uh, a long flight. My digestion takes a hit when I'm eating in places that I normally don't, um, when, when you're in an airplane and that cabin pressure and then you're coming down and then you're going back up, it can it messes with my GI. So I knew that I was going to need some items to help me with that. So one of them is my daily probiotic, um, the one that I take every day already. I made sure that I kept up with my uh, with my probiotic that kept my um, my gut happier <laughs> during the trip. Um, some tips that I have seen in some other videos, I'll uh, put links for them below, but I also paid attention to what I ate. So that included, um, I wasn't eating French fries, and y'all know how much I love French fries and fried potatoes, um, but they have a level of um, oil that would be disruptive. Um, I know that bread slows down my um, my digestion, so I did not eat as much of that, so I um, would eat wraps. Uh, another piece that I stayed with was my ginger tea. So I love tea, um, but I took these little packets of ginger tea with me. Um, uh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, bloating, as you can tell, and GI issues. I needed to have, what if my, you know, my normal tactics for handling those um, could not be handled. I needed it to be handled quickly. Um, so yeah, I took some gas X and believe it or not, um, I was actually <laughs> able to help a few other people. Um, H got sick earlier um, on this trip 
And so he was able to use um, some of the Pepsid to kind of help with some of those symptoms. But also the other thing that I bring for GI um, possible issues, like things like food poisoning and um, some other um, helpful things that will bind to any toxin in your GI is activated charcoal. So I took a few of um, a few of these, like I said, put them in a snack bag and had them available. And yes, we did use them. You can break open the vegetable um, capsule and use it, you know, if you got a bite, a sting, and it would take, um, it would also take the, the toxin out um, that way as well. So I always travel with the activated charcoal. So I bring honey sticks and if you know anything about um, these, this is roughly about a tablespoon of, of honey, which can go great with your tea, um, but it's also good because I bring eucalyptus. Um, so I brought my little thing of eucalyptus oil and honey and eucalyptus have been really helpful for me when I have asthma symptoms. So I bring my honey just as a backup to uh, for my for my tea, but I also bring the eucalyptus. Um, I can put it a few drops in a warm shower, and that relaxes my respiratory system. But I can combine the honey and eucalyptus because this is um, an organic and can be ingested. That's also how I ha handle some early asthma symptoms, and I do not leave on a trip um, without it. So another thing that I use for the plane that I was really excited about is this natural sleep medicine that I usually use um, here at home. Um, it just helps me to relax. And I knew that I would be sleeping at times that I would probably normally be awake as we were going across seven time zones. So um, Calm is, is a natural product that, that I use. It has a some um, sleep components, but it is completely natural. I would not feel groggy. I knew that because that's what, you know, what I use at home and I wanted to use things that were not foreign to my body. Um, I am kind of a germ person that likes to keep as many germs at bay. I will wipe down my seat. Um, the handles, the tray table, anything that is a common touch point, I bring um, my wipes. So I have both um, a kind of uh, general disinfectant wipes, but I also have ones that I use on my hands um, to, to wipe them as well before I eat. And there have been a few tables that haven't been bust when we've gone to, you know, little cafes or restaurants and I've had to kind of wipe the table because I want to make sure it's no one else's responsibility to make sure that I'm healthy and happy and enjoying my trip. So I'm, I'm bringing those kind of items with me. And yes, there are travel size Lysol. I know this probably <laughs> looks like I have gone a bit far, but I have used this on this trip because I wanna make sure that the bedding, that that other common touch things like toilets and um, you know uh, things that I'm going to handle that may not have been wiped to the level that give me um, confidence that I'm not going to acquire uh, a, a common illness. Um, that it just gives me, this is my peace of mind uh, first aid kit. So I'm also always thinking about, you know, what if, um, what if I get a, a small nick or a cut, and I'm on the plane or I'm somewhere, and I, I don't, I don't need to go to a doctor, but I do need to to take care of this. So I took some, um, those little squares of uh, alcohol. I brought some a little kit that has band aids, and I took my um, triple action antibiotic um, with us. So I'm showing you all these things, but I took them in smaller quantities 
that could fit literally inside of a um, little clear makeup bag that I could put if I needed to take it out because some of these things are liquids. I'm able to do that and fulfill the TSA requirements and keep it moving. See, I did take some um, sunscreen. Sevilla is hot. Spain is hot. Morocco is hot. The sun is coming down. It was over 100 degrees. Um, I took my B12 chews. So vitamin B12 is really helpful to um, red blood cell function. And I knew that my red blood cells were gonna need some extra oxygenation. I wasn't sure about the elevations I would be in. So that was a part of just my overall health. I take them here at home. I know how they feel to my body. So um, continuing that on this trip was important. I took some test kits. I took, these have two um, COVID tests in them. I took two boxes of two so that just in case we started to kind of feel a little funky, we wanted to know, hey, is this COVID? We had a way um, to do that. Ooh, another great uh, confirming or confirmatory, is this forehead thermometer? You just put it on your forehead, yep, like that, and it, will tell your temperature. And because a couple of people um, as that were in a part of our group, um, they were asking for these things and I was really glad that I had packed them, that it kind of confirmed that these are things that would be helpful um, on my trip. Um, one thing that I realized that I did not bring with me and I felt like, girl, you just missed the mark, is oil of oregano. So oil of oregano um, would have done a lot of those things, probably would have helped me to take out a few things like the, um, the Pepto and the Gas-X because they naturally fight GI bacteria. Oil of oregano also helps to heal wounds. Um, it is a um, insect repellent. We were near the water in Sevilla and those mosquitoes in the park were biting my husband <laughs> and that would have been really good to have, but it also treats um, fungal infection. So oil of oregano is going into my kit and will be a standard. So if there are some travel first aid things that I have not mentioned um, that you think I should include um, for our next trip, um, that will be uh, to Mexico, let me know in the chat. Um, if these things have been helpful on your trip, give some validity to packing a travel first aid kit that could keep you from having to go to the pharmacy, you know, or wait for them to open that you can immediately meet your needs, keep, your, um, keep yourself healthy and happy and really enjoy your trip. Thanks for letting me share. Bye for now.